Markle's film and TV roles, even the embarrassing ones. As Prince Harry's fiance, Meghan Markle will soon only need to concern herself with her philanthropy, but it wasn't long ago that she was a struggling actress suffering through Hollywood's tough audition process. Little did she know she'd soon land all sorts of film and TV roles. I was in my early 20s, still figuring so much out, and trying to find my value in an industry that judges you on everything that you're not versus everything that you are, she once told Darling Magazine. Not thin enough, not pretty enough, not ethnic enough, while also being too thin, too ethnic. Too pretty the very next day. Then came a life changing audition for casting director Rapel Webster. You need to know that you're enough, she said. Less makeup, more Megan. She went on to say that I was like a shrinking violet, wilted joy and energy and exuberance behind this shroud of insecurity. You couldn't pay for a therapy session this good. And that moment, for me, was a wake up call, Megan has recalled. In 2012, she finally landed a regular gig. The suit's role that made her a household name long before her prince arrived. But how well do you know the rest of her filmography? A lot like love. You may have spotted Megan as Ashton Kutcher's seatmate, a character credited as hot girl, in the 2005 rom-com A Lot Like Love, CSI, NY. Buckingham Palace would probably prefer to forget Megan played a lingerie-clad maid in a 2006 episode of the CBS procedural CSI. And why? Deal or no deal. From 2006 to 2007, Megan was a briefcase girl on the NBC game show Deal or No Deal, and she'd prefer not to talk about it. Thank you very much. 90,210. Megan appeared in the pilot episode of the CW's 90,210 reboot. As a character who has sex in a car. Let's move on. The leak. The actress, who happens to be a divorcee named Megan, played a divorcee named Megan in a 2009 episode of the FX comedy The League, Fringe. She also guest starred on the Fox drama Fringe in 2009, playing an FBI agent investigating the show's pseudoscientific mysteries, Horrible Bosses. In another unbecoming role on her resume, Megan played a Fed ex-employee in the 2011 comedy Horrible Bosses. Jason Sudeikis' character thought she was too cute for the blue-collar position. Suits. The year 2011 also saw Megan take on her biggest troll yet, paralegal turned associate Rachel Zane in the USA drama Suits. Castle. Don't let that sleeping beauty persona fool you, Megan's character turned out to be the murderer in her 2012 episode of the ABC procedural Castle. When sparks fly, Megan was a journalist who finds 4th of July romance with a small town heartthrob in a 2014 Hallmark movie titled When Sparks Fly. Antisocial. In 2015, Megan appeared opposite Runaways star Greg Sulkin in the British crime drama Antisocial, playing his street artist character's girlfriend. Dater's Handbook. Can Megan thank her role in the 2016 Hallmark movie Dater's Handbook for her romance with Harry? She played an unlucky in love businesswoman who found love with a little help, but we have trouble imagining the real Megan needing a guidebook. <laughs>